Hello my dear friends and welcome to a new video from Madmix Deals and Reviews. Today I'm gonna show you two flashlights I received from Olight. The first is the Warrior X Pro, that's the upgraded version from the Warrior X, and the i5T, which is an AA battery powered small flashlight. At first, the legal thing. Yes, I did receive these samples for free, but Olight does not pay me to make my review. It's up to me, it's my ideas, it's my measurements, it's my personal opinion of what I'm gonna show you. So if you like my work, thank you for your support when you click the subscribe button, you click the small bell so you get the notifications for new things I produce like the beam shot videos featuring also the Warrior X Pro, which I made yesterday in my airstrike shelter near to where I live. And also in the video description, you can find links to my blog and links to the uh, OLED homepages where if you use that and if you buy something because you like their products, you like my introduction, uh, then I get some, some cents back. So thank you for your support. So let's start with the i5T EOS. And before you go on the bathroom break, I'm not gonna do a big unboxing video, but if you have seen my videos, you might have noticed I like the way how well they built this, uh, the boxes, and there's the nice colorful printings in the front. So that's a quite cool thing. And always there is a yellow tab, information tab telling you to remove any transport isolation things for safety. There's the user manual with multi-language, which, and that's a very nice point on OLED, they tell you uh, the step-downs of the flashlight. And as you know, most, if not all, modern powerful flashlights, when you use them in the turbo or in the high modes, there will be a step-down. They have to decrease the brightness due to heat reasons or safety reasons, or just to have a more useful runtime. And for the i5T, it's um, 300 lumens for three minutes. Then it step downs to 50% for another 25 minutes. And then it step downs to 10% for another 122 minutes. And if you use the low, which is 15 lumens rated, you get 20 hours of runtime out of it. And it's also rated for 60 meters of throw and the weight is 60 grams, including the standard AA battery, which is inside when you buy it. And of course, you can use uh, any loop or from IKEA, I use this Ladas, that's the same, same factory, I think, in, uh, behind this nickel metal, nickel metal hydrate cells, uh, but it's not allowed to use the 14500, the four volt lithium iron batteries. Um, Maybe I try them one day, but I didn't want to possibly burn it at the moment. And of course, you know, I have this lumen tube and my numbers are non-professional equipment and it, I did, did a lot of tests and I have to use my cheat sheet. They rated it high on 300 lumens and I got 600, sorry, 286 lumens, which is 11% less. And on the 15 lumen uh, step, I measured 13 lumens, but in the low numbers, I'm not very accurate, but it's, it's just a difference of 13%, so that's possible. And I also did a runtime test. One test was switching on in the room, it had 22 degrees, and after the three minutes, it went from 268 to 141 lumens, and it stayed there and the temperature was going up to 30 degrees, which is very nice. Then I did a second test uh, where I reset it after the step down. So I had the three minutes, then it stepped down, then I double clicked again to go back to the uh, initial 268 and then it was 267. So it did it three or four times, no problem with that. So you can always reset it and have this 300 lumens and of course, you have to sacrifice uh, the runtime for that. But you can use this 270 lumens uh, for more often. So, what else on the product? We have this nice blue helix or double helix. And uh, this is um, 
it's it's rough in there it's not slick it's like a powder coating something like that it's a very cool look on this uh, what well, also like they have a, this removal clip which maybe it's too soft for for my thinking so there is the possibility when you have it in the pocket and the flashlight outside that you can rip it off i think that's no problem when you have it in the pocket and the clip is outside so that if something happens it just goes into your pocket and what i like from the olights they use this s s band design so if you use a cap you can switch the flashlight on and whoopsie use it up there so you know that works with the small ones and works with this too user interface is also simple if you whoopsie where is my you switch it on and when you switch it off and on again within two seconds it goes to the high so off you can have this momentary before the click gently press and as if you see the high is some kind of fading in so that's it's building up the brightness and I, I like that and we have a TRI optic not a reflector which makes this quite nice beam shape try to give you give you this too so the 60 meters are quite nice from such a small flashlight and I think that's all about that one so help the Chinese, our Chinese friends help them support the sick people and go and get one and now speak about the warrior x pro so that's the upgraded version from the warrior x and no need to worry no unboxing because i have everything down there there is this yellow information tab remove the insulation you find in there boxes with the magnetic charging cable which is the new mcc cold charger uh, which can charge up to two amps then there is a lanyard with this uh, thingy here so you can quickly adjust uh, the size here then there is a small box with this one this is a, a tactical ring also but it's round and rubber i liked it really a lot and of course there is a user manual which i have here multi-language and uh, much more pictures how to work and how to adjust the flashlight and it comes already packed in this in its holster standard uh, quality holster of nice quality of course uh, it has this plastic d ring here there is one loop which is you can open with this push button the second loop is fixed so you can put uh, your belt in something like that and it does have this this magnet feature so i'm not a tactical guy i'm not a police officer whatever but i think when you have it on your backpack maybe or on your belt and you go to the woods it's easy that it comes open when you go somewhere but of course if you're, if you're a tactical guy you have it here within one move so and I'm, I'm, I'm not a trained person just do this and you're on so that's nice and here we have the flashlight the Varia x pro uh, in OD green this is a limited color you can buy it I think in the sale it's very limited so proper probably it will not be available after today so you should be fast and really the day starts at one minute after midnight or the sales start at one minute after midnight and as you see the Warrior X Pro is really a big tool it's uh, it's heavy it has uh, 239 gram including the battery which is a 21700 battery uh, with 5000 milliamp hours of capacity and thus it has the double runtime before uh, above the warrior x the old one which i unfortunately do not have so i cannot do a direct comparison there is uh, 
this very nice uh, attack bezel. There is lots of thick cooling fins. We have a smooth reflector, anti-reflective coating in the lens. And the LED, they use one XHP35 HD LED. But the reason they don't, because OLED cuts it off. And with this flat surface above this yellow uh, phosphorus, you have a more concentrated beam, which I can show you. Using this, when you push on the back switch, you see nice concentrated beam. Half press is the low, full press is high. That's 300 lumen rated versus 2250 lumen rated. And the user interface is push very shortly, tap, so you have it on and off, hold a little bit, I think more than a second or half a second, and then it works as a momentary. And the same is for full pull, full push, and hold is for momentary, short click gives you on and off. And it's pro possible to have it uh, here in the low, then switch on for full, but I did not find out if it's anyway possible to go back to low without going to off before. Maybe you've, you know a way, so please let us all know in the comments. And that's it. There is no strobe, there is no clickies, no codes to type in, whatever. Just low and high on off momentary. That's it. And there is no LEDs here to indicate battery levels. They use an, uh, a motor in there and uh, so the flashlight vibrates and I have to, to look and to cheat. The vibrating will be... Where is it? Where is it? Here. Uh, if the power is less than 30%, it will vibrate once per every five minutes. Below 10%, it will be vibrate once per minute. And below 5%, it vibrates every 10 seconds. So like your phone is ringing. Something like that. Um, and I told you there's just these two modes. So there is also no electronic lockout. Which makes sense if you want to have it to be active as fast as possible. But if you go on the hiking, something like that, and you do not want to have uh, an accidental activation, or even when you have it in your holster, it is possible to switch it on. Then you see there is a hole in this holster, so you can see the light comes out and probably it prevents from melting or damaging the holster. But you can see it's possible to switch it on that way. But you can do quarter of a turn to break the contact and then it's off. Unlike the uh, M2R Pro, which I have somewhere here, it's very similar, has the same battery, the same 21700, and also has this dual, dual step design in the, uh, the tail cap. But here we have the additional electronic switch. And when you break the contact here, so just the switch, uh, the tail cap is, is open, you still can operate using the, the button on the side, the side switch. So that tells us they use the same system, the same battery, which means you have to use a OLED battery in there. A regular battery does not work at all, even if some people tell you so. Because the driver takes the positive and the negative here on the front. The negative pole here is just used for charging. And when you, when you have it in, you can measure two and a half volts here, which is some kind of a sense voltage. The switch has different resistance levels, so these two and a half volts sense if it's open, if it's half pressed, if it's full pressed. And if there's suddenly five volts from putting on the charger, it says the driver knows, oh, charging voltage, so 
switch and charging the battery. That's it. And what I also can show you is beside the OLED standard quality in, um, in the manufacturing, we have uh, loop threads, there is nice O-rings, there's uh, square cut threads and the decision is nice. So yeah, don't, I can't, I do not want to tell you every time the same thing that the OLED building quality is very good. So you have this me uh, metallic aluminum tactical ring uh, which the with the lanyard holds, which also holds the clip. So the clip, there is a groove. The clip will all only stay in this one position. And if you want to mount this ring, you also have to align it. There is a little bit of rocking here, but that's not bad in my opinion. But what I really like is this rubber ring. So the rubber ring does not have the groove, so it doesn't work with the clip. And then it looks like this, which was the setup I had when I used it. So really nice. Uh, and yes, the uh, magnet here is strong enough so you can have your flashlight hanging on some uh, uh, magnetic surface. And of course, it's too heavy to uh, be in a horizontal position, but you can safely hang it somewhere on the top. So you have it as a, maybe as a light, something like that. That's it. Hopefully I have some pictures afterwards too pop up a little bit um, about the data. Of course, I measured it in my box and my lumen tube gave me, they claimed a high of 2,250 lumens. I got peaks up to 2,200 and something. So that's 2% low. That's quite nice. In the low, it's claimed to have 300 lumen and I got 269, which is 10% low. No big problem here too. For the throw, uh, uh, they claim 90 kilo candela, which is good for 600 meters of throw. I measured 106,500 ca uh, candela, which is good for 653 meters. So that's 18% more throw than they claim, which is quite good. For the run times, I have the graph now. And as you see, the more cooling power is available. The a little bit later is the step down. And even they say it's two minutes on high. You see the step down is a little bit different if the temperature or the cooling is better. And then it holds the 1000 lumens a little bit more. And uh, when the fan was in full power, I was even uh, possible to have more than the 1000 lumens. So my opinion, again, the i5T, what I miss is maybe because I'm a flashaholic, the possibility to have lithium ion, the 3.7 volts uh, cells in it, the 14500s to have more power. But on the other hand, it makes perfect sense to have an AA or any loop uh, flashlight with up to 300 lumens. That's nice. That's a marketing decision. So it makes it cheaper, makes it, I think, more reliable. So I'm okay with that. But maybe there will be a nice upgraded version one day. So you hear me all that? And the Warrior X Pro. I think it's really a very nice tool. I like the beam. Hopefully you have seen my other videos. Uh, it's well built. It's quite nice. Um, maybe I miss a third uh, mode. So some way to to have this 1000 lumens, which, with it, which is uh, possible to hold for a longer time. But you can have the 300 or full power, which will reduce itself. And I prefer to operate my flashlights to my wishes. So if it can do 1000 or maybe 800 or 600, I'm quite sure it will, 
it would be possible to have 600 until the battery goes goes that low so some some way some cheat to go into this really mid level or a, a high having the turbo which is affected by temperature and time having a high and having this low so that that would be my nice uh, version of that and for that if you have any questions i'm quite sure i forgot a lot to mention ask me i try to if i can make a short video i will add that or i can send to you with the, uh, with messenger whatever other questions i can answer in the the comments down there or write me an email martin at metmax.com something like that let's stay in contact i hope you liked it and see you soon bye bye